Hey guys, Queen of Hearts here, and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, hey girl, stay a while. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome on back. So today is Thursday. It is, let's see, it's 7.28. Um, I am home. I am about to wash some clothes. Um, I am also going to start laying out outfits because I have a trip in two weeks. No flight, just vibes. Just vibes. Nah, our Airbnb is taken care of, but no, seriously, I don't have a flight. And that's because the flights, the prices are insane to go where we're going. So I um, do have Hopper downloaded, and it's saying that if I purchase my ticket this weekend, it's actually going to go down to like two something versus. 580 to 700 so um hopefully this weekend um, i'm able to um purchase my flight it is chelsea's bachelorette weekend um so excited she is the first the very first one of us to um be engaged have a bachelorette trip and i'm just so so very excited um yeah, I'm so excited. We we picked out our um, Airbnb like months ago, so we just um, we just uh, what do you call it? Reserved it today. Um, hold on. But um, yeah, so that's what's tea. I'm about to wash clothes because um, I need to, and uh, I need some more gym clothes. But yeah, I'm about to wash clothes because I need to, um, and I need to wash my sports bras. Y'all, I need to go bra shopping, like sports bras and just like regular bra shopping. I feel like I'm failing in that department. Um, I work out majority of the week, and although I do have like enough to last me for a week, I don't have like... I. I don't know i just want more variety um and some of the bras that i do have they about to be on the small side like i just need more bras but they are so expensive so drop down in the comments where you guys normally get your workout uh workout bras from your sports bras and your also your regular bras um so let me know in the comments so i'll know where to pick some up um is there anything hold on Trying to see if there's anything else we need to chat about. I'm really enjoying my job. Um, this is day four. Um, I feel like a rock star um, just by listening to uh, other team members who've been working there for a while. It's something that I can see like myself enjoying. Um, and the things that people are saying are, you know, I don't know that get them overwhelmed i feel like it's not gonna have me that way because i've been doing like this type role for quite a while um but we'll see i'm only on day four and um yeah i still have a lot a lot a lot of knowledge um to learn about you know what it is that i'm going to be doing every day but so far so good um i actually went for a walk um was that yesterday or the yeah i went for a walk yesterday on my lunch and it was a mile so i do plan to you know um start burning more calories on my lunch break so i feel like that's going to be good for me to you know on the days that i don't go to the gym which is only actually one day out of the work week that i don't go to the gym i can do um a mile walk on my lunch break but the weather has been like so pretty 
um it's like hella people that go out and walk um i'm trying to see what you can see from my glasses <laughs> let me um yeah it's like hella people that be out there just like walking their dogs and running walking sightseeing um really 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 um enjoy the area that i that i work in so yeah that's what i got going on and let me see this weekend i do have a client saturday morning i feel like i'm not talking right la, la, la. i do have a client saturday morning um and then of course i'll go to choir rehearsal and what else I really need my nails done like my nails are horrific so um i actually think oh will i have time next week yeah yeah i could do next saturday okay i'm just trying to see where i can squeeze in a nail appointment and a pedicure appointment child these toes my toenails too long child anyways um yeah, I need to prepare for my trip. Nails. I got a hair appointment. I need to get my toes done. I need to lay out all of my clothes to see what I'm wearing. Um, this is actually going to be the first trip that... Oh, this clip is long. Um, this is actually going to be the first clip... I can't talk. <laughs> I'm tired. This is actually going to be the first trip where I do not buy anything new um i do have some new clothes that i have not worn yet but i didn't have the trip in mind when i purchased them so i don't think i'll really be wearing anything that i purchased that go around but i have not bought anything for this trip and i do not plan to unless like i really really want something actually i lied i think i am going to place an order because i just thought about i want to wear like some army fatigue cargo shorts um i really want that anyways yeah so that's what's tea um but yeah that's all i want to check in with you guys have not checked in all week it is already thursday but i feel like this is gonna be um a fun weekend i think my friend ross is coming into town i'm not sure yet but uh, yeah, he is because he got a section somewhere. But anyways, um, I will talk to you guys later. L love y'all. Hey, y'all. Happy Saturday, y'all. First of all, let's talk about how much of an old lady I am. So I did not. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. Did I? I don't think so yesterday was friday and um when i got home to my dwelling baby miss mamas went to sleep so i had went to um yesterday i got off early and i went where did i go i know i went to aldi i'm just gonna pull out like that I went to Aldi and I also went to Red Lobster to get me something to eat. And I did go to Tyson. Y'all know me. I had a client this morning so I had to go get some lashes. So I went to Aldi to specifically to get some wine. Put the wine in the freezer because I wanted it to, you know, hurry up and, and, and chill. Y'all, after I took my clothes off, first of all, I sat in my car and ate Red Lobster like a fat ass but anyways um i could have waited till i got in the house but i didn't so anyways yeah i went to aldi specifically for wine chilled it it was probably in the freezer for like three minutes after i took my clothes off i went ahead and put it in the refrigerator because i'm like you know what i just don't feel like i know me and when I get comfortable, it's time to go to bed. So I just put it in the freezer. I mean, in the refrigerator, so I wouldn't leave it in the freezer all night, y'all. I ain't even. I ain't even. I ain't even pop open the the wine. I was so tired. I've had a long week. Um, you know, just training with this new job, and my brain has been constantly just going. So yeah, that's that. 
Today is Saturday. I did my client. I'm leaving choir rehearsal and I'm really trying to decide, trying to decide if I'm about to get on the road. Um, I'm waiting on a text to let me know what's tea and if it's a go, I'm gonna pack a quick bag and hit the road. Um, yeah, I really enjoy not being tied down by anything and just going like, I feel like people don't talk about it enough. Like, it's important to like, I ain't gonna say like, have everything together because I definitely don't like, I learn <laughs> life is a learning process but to be able to be I guess stable enough <laughs> to you know actually be able to pick up and go whenever you want it's a blessing um, being you know just single and not having an answer to nobody and I don't have any children yet um, and when I do, I just know I'm gonna be like that mom because they gonna be my babies. But you know, just being able to pick up and go, love that for me. Um, but yeah, so I'm currently headed home. I'm going to drop off my um, makeup, my ring light and stuff that I got in here that I don't want sitting in the car. Um, and then Keisha, my best friend, sent me that um, Bath and Body Works is having, is this my text I'm waiting on? No. Bath and Body Works is having a sale on their wallflowers for like $2.95. So I'm gonna hit up South Park Mall um, and see what's tea. Hopefully they got, maybe I shouldn't go to South Park. Yeah, I do, because I want to go to H&M. Yeah, I'm gonna go to um, South Park. But yeah, I'm gonna see what it's given, if they still got some good fragrances left. Um, I still have two unopened. I have a black cherry Merlot and a mahogany teakwood. Um, but you know, just reading up is is good, so I'll have those. But yeah, um, if I get on the road, I will definitely let you know. If not, I think, like I said earlier in the vlog, my friend is coming uh, from from home, so we may hang out later today but that's all y'all i will talk to y'all soon hey y'all let's see happy saturday i don't think i talked to y'all all day but it is 6 33 um i just got home let me get myself together okay so um this morning i had a client at nine did that um went to choir rehearsal I did that. Uh, what else did I do? I went to Bath and Body Works and H&M. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. And then we'll get into where I've been today. Hold on. Darn, it's really six something. That's crazy. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. all right, cool. So, um, Today, I went to H&M and Bath and Body Works. Y'all, y'all will understand in a minute. Hold on. So, today has been a day, okay? Alright, cool. So, 
let's start with Bath and Body Works. So, today, best friend sent me a text. It was, um, oh, I did talk to y'all. I'm remembering now. But anyways, she sent, she sent me a text and said that, um, Bath and Body Works had the wallflowers for $2.95. So, I bought three. I got gingham. Looks like this. Gingham. I got black cherry Merlot. And then I also got, an, well, this is not, because I don't think I got this. Stress Relief, Eucalyptus, and Spearmint. So I got these three. Gonna put them in this drawer because I have two others. I have the Mahogany Teakwood and the Black Cherry Merlot that I've been had. So that's that. So I went to H&M and I'm like, I hope when I go in here, I don't see anything I like, but um, as soon as I walked in here, I saw these shoes. So, I got these like, um, it's like a braided sandal. They look like this. So freaking cute. So freaking cute on. They also had like a, um, a nude kind. I got a size eight and they were $34.99. So freaking cute and for my trip next week i think these are gonna um be perfect because we are gonna be doing a little bit of walking and i know without like this platform heel it would be kind of uncomfortable so i'm glad that it does have a little bit of support here um so yeah got these these are super cute and they look so good with my french tip <laughs> So I got these, but all right, let's talk about it. So y'all, Ross is here. If you don't know Ross by now, go back in the vlogs. You'll know who Ross is. So Ross is here and um, we were only supposed to be getting up tonight. Why Ross texts me? No, he called me at like two something. Maybe two, three something. It was two something. Bennett, where you at? Ross, I'm out, but I'm gonna go home and take a nap so I can rest up for tonight, okay? Because if you know me, you know I'm an auntie. He's like, um, I'm trying to get active right now. I'm like, Ross. Damn! So anyways, um, I miss him. I miss Ross, so we haven't seen each other like probably a month, a month or so. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hit you when I leave Publix. So left Publix, called him. We met at my house, we changed, and uh, we went to, where did we go? Tattoos and booze. So evidently they had like a 90s bar crawl, went there, had some drinks. That was cool, it was a lot of people in Tattoos and Booze. Um, so if you're ever in Charlotte, I would definitely recommend Tattoos and Booze. I mean, um, I think that it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It's so cute in there. Um, I had their, what did I have? Some kind of egg rolls. They were pretty good. Um, but I did hear that their salmon and grits was, was, was good. I heard that. So, um, if you're looking for like a brunch, like a Saturday brunch, uh, move, I definitely know, I definitely know that Saturday night is lit in there. Um, so if you're looking like, you know, a, a good hookah lounge, mu good music, um, drinks and food vibe when you're in Charlotte, I definitely suggest Tattoos and Booze. Like, that's, that's lit. So we went to Tattoos and Booze, had a couple drinks. Then after that, we went to, um, Cloud. That's also a new place here in Charlotte. It's a, it's a nightclub, um, but during the day they do have music, drinks, hookah, um what's i gonna say they y'all <laughs> let me just show y'all the wings that i just had bruh i had um lemon pepper and hot wings baby 
Look at that. Those wings, do not play with those wings. They were so good. Literally so good. Um, I think the guy that runs the kitchen, his name is Cordell. I believe he went to state, but I'm not sure. So shout out to the home team. Well, I ain't go to state, but I was there all the time. Shout out to him holding it down in the kitchen. Those wings were definitely A1. And I've just heard that Cloud's food in general is really good. So I would suggest um, if you're looking for like, I don't know, it wasn't a lot of people in there, but it was cool because we just went for the drinks and food anyway. But I know at nighttime it gets lit and, um, and Cloud. It's on the south end. It's right across the street from 1501. I know I've talked about 1501 before on my channel. So, um, yeah, so tattoos and booze, 1501. If you want to get active, go to those places <laughs> in Charlotte. Um, now I had to rush in the house because I had to use the bathroom so bad, but I'm headed back out to get some tequila because um, I'm gonna show y'all. Ross brought over, I haven't gone grocery shopping yet, so don't talk about my fridge, okay? But Ross brought over this. Lord Jesus, it's about to be a night. I bought this yesterday from Andy. Um, but yeah, he brought this over. So tonight, we're gonna go to, the sun's coming out now, it was just raining. Tonight we're gonna go to Stats. Uh, my friend Bree is coming over here, so we're gonna pregame. I think Ross, yeah, Ross has gotta come back over here because his stuff is over here. But um, yeah, we're gonna pregame for tonight around like nine something. And we're gonna go out, have some fun. Um, I also wanted to show you guys this. This champagne from Aldi, it was like $4.99. But y'all, when I tell you that joint had me so lit like a couple weeks ago. Not me about to fall in my own house. Damn, Ross. <laughs> um, that joint had me so lit a couple weeks ago. I was, yeah. It was one of them nights. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, so that's what's been going on today. I'm currently about to go to the liquor store to get some tequila. And then I'm going to come back home. I'm sorry, y'all. My allergies are something else. So when I go outside, my whole face itches from the pollen. But yeah, um, about to get something, um, some tequila so we can pregame tonight. We're going to go to stats. Like I said, Ross got a section. So... Apparently, we're active tonight. Um, now, I only get like this when Ross is in town. Otherwise, I'm good with a cute little lounge, get something to eat, come back home. But it's about to be one of those nights. So, let me go ahead, head to the liquor store so I can get back and take a nap. And, um, yeah, we're going to start getting ready. I think Bria says she's going to get dressed over here. So, um, I'm going to drop back. Peace. Well, I am sick of you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't want a shot, but. Well, you are going to take one. Mo. Took the okay. motherfucker with the mo. You know what? The mo. With the mo. The mo, boy. What's up, man? Thank you, baby. Cross B. Uh huh. Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm on TV. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, <laughs> shit, now. Hey y'all, what's tea? It's um 11 19. Auntie took her nap, so I'm good. Bria's here, okay? Clearly. I didn't take a nap, so I'm sleepy. <laughs> okay, but listen, we're about to turn out tonight. We're going to stats, okay? Ross is downstairs waiting on us, so sorry, Ross, we're on the way, but um, mm. let's go. <laughs> y'all, it is 2 20. Ross is talking about popping this bottle. And you know what? I'm at home, so it's whatever to me. But these niggas gotta drive, so. <sighs> Bria? Yeah. Girl. I'm hungry. Hey, I'm about to hit 
eat these tacos, bro. Ross, damn! No, I'm talking about these tacos. Did you even eat? Can you pour me a shot of... some of these tacos, bro. I do too. Pour that shit on me. Are you gonna open yeah. the bottom? Yeah, open the bottom. This What's that? Ah! Wait till, wait, wait till I heat it up. You wanna heat this shit up? We both gonna eat this shit. Now you gonna eat it cold. Dude, dude, dude. fucking, um, <laughs> dude. pour the damn shit, eat this shit, and we got, we got some to drink on. Shrimp mouth, motherfucker. <laughs> Russ, I'm weak. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, time. just open this. Is side. this frozen? I wanna, I wanna see you do it, babe. Is this frozen? Yeah, I mean, whatever it is. Oh my god. Child. So, y'all really want this to pop? You gotta redeem yourself, dog. Hold on, Rhea. Definitely. Okay, I'm you. just trying to open this up. Go in the bed. Go in the bed. Baby, how y'all ain't gonna. What the fuck? How do you do that shit? It's dude? frozen! Man, give me that shit. Get out. Man. Both of y'all. Get out. Get out. Get out. How the fuck you get do out. that? I did not do that. Y'all, it's frozen and it's still going. Oh, man. <laughs> that motherfucker hitting so hard. You did y'all something, bitch. You know there's some more tacos up here. Fuck that. <laughs> Them all were saying that motherfucker can't so hard. Like, oh. Your breath can smell like onions. Baby, it ain't worried about the onions. My breath is mine. It ain't mine. worried about the onions. My shit is mine. Oh. Hold on, give me a minute. Let me tie it, baby. What? <laughs> Don't worry about my shit, baby. Okay. My shit just. I mean, we both can eat onions. Mm -mm, I'll eat onions. You don't? You don't? No. Oh, wow. Sorry, baby. What? Well, Sorry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You little asshole. You little asshole. Yeah, you want another taco? No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to, um, we're going to learn some more and we can get up out of here. I don't want to drink some more and we're out of here. You know what? I'm sorry. Pull your shit out. Pull your shit out. Pull your shit out. Pull your shit out. Y'all, good morning. Happy Sunday. It's 8.56. Do we even want to talk about last night? Anyways, had a good time. I'm now waiting on Russ to let us know where we're going to, where, bleh, yeah, I can't talk. I'm now waiting on um, Ross to let us know where we're going to brunch. 
um and yeah i took my shower so i'm like i'm really ready to eat and go to sleep but i want to go to church and it's already almost nine o'clock so we need to push it okay but um yeah i wanted to say good morning i'll probably take y'all with me to brunch um not brunch it's actually breakfast because it's early as hell but um yeah i'll, I'll take y'all to brunch i mean breakfast i'll see y'all in a minute i still got last night on me so see ya <laughs> to show you guys what I'm going to use to make um, the filling for my deviled eggs. This is, I'm not sure if I want to add that. I may put it like on top, but what I have so far, parsley, smoked paprika, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, um, garlic powder, mustard, onion powder, salt, and let me get my... Um, mayonnaise and relish heavy on the relish so oh as you can see I just cleaned those out um let's chat shall we child y'all know I'm tired I probably didn't even have to say it. But I don't know if I went in like detail with y'all yesterday. But hold on, let me bring my ingredients Ugh. over here. But yeah, um last night. Oh y'all I cooked some shrimp too. Um so I'll be adding those on top. But y'all, I'm getting, well, yeah, I'm getting older. I can't do what I used to no more, okay? I just can't. I don't know if I told y'all, but I went day drinking with Ross. Started at, um, started at Tattoos and Booze, then went to Cloud. Cloud has some bomb wings. And um, I'm just mashing it up. Then I came home and took a nap. Took a nap, and then we went to stats. Didn't get in until hella late. But y'all, when I tell y'all I'm so tired, literally tired AF. Um, after so this morning we did go to this place called Ruby Sunshine. And um, it was my first time there. I feel like, uh, y'all can't really see what I'm doing. I don't know. But um, there we go. So went to Ruby Sunshine, had brunch, and I'll put in some, um, I put in some snippets of um, the restaurant because I made a reel for Instagram, but I had their sweet heat chicken and French toast. Sorry, chicken and French toast bites. It was cool, but I did not like the um, sweet heat sauce that came with it. I did have the, um, what was it? 
fried green tomato as an appetizer. That was really good. Um, and then I did try some of Shay's beignets. Um, what else? I'm just about to season it to what I feel like is right. So just don't mind me. But yeah, it has some beignets. What else did they have? I think like two, three of us got the um, fried green tomatoes. Those are so good. They had like a like a jam, not a jam. It was like a, it was bacon, lettuce, tomato, and some kind of sauce, but it was so good. I saw this on TikTok. I usually don't add this to my deviled eggs, but I saw it on TikTok. I'm just gonna add about that much. That should be good. Um, add some pepper, but it was good. We also ordered the um, Mimosa Flight. Those are good, but y'all, after last night, I could only, I could only drink one. No, I had, I had two. But the last one was just sitting there, so I was like, let me, let me go ahead and help Shay out and drink this. So that was good. Um, I'll definitely go back. I want to try some other stuff. Their French toast looked um, really, really good. Really, really good. Add the parsley. I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like in a second. We're just gonna add. Let me do this. Add the relish last. Shrimp has a nice crunch to them. But, yeah, y'all. I'm just tired. When I eat this, I'm going to bed. Like, there's no question about it. Mm, them shrimp kind of spicy. I'm going to stir this up and then see if I need more. I love relish. Oh dear. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna add some more. Also gonna add some more mayo. I use Duke mayonnaise. Okay, one more spoonful won't hurt, sis. I don't know why I like actually. I don't know why I like relish so much. Mm. So good. So good. This filling looks really good. All right, I'm going to I'm going to um add some more mayo. And then we should be good with the um, filling and then I'll go ahead and add it to the egg. That may have been too much, but. No, that's perfect. Perfect, I'm gonna show you guys the consistency. That is perfect. All right, let me taste. Mm hmm That's good. Since I did add some more, may I'm just gonna add a little bit more mustard. So good. And I'm not gonna wait 
until they cool to eat them because as i told y'all i'm ready to go to bed i'm gonna add just a little bit more salt paprika smoked paprika and what else can i put in here let's do some more pepper it was good i'm just adding stuff at this point okay so I'm just gonna start to add it to the egg. Some people cut the edge of a Ziploc bag, but um, I don't have any. So I'm just gonna line these up on my plate in a way where it doesn't look as unorganized <laughs> um, let's put you right there I feel like I can put one right there and we'll keep one in the middle let's, whatever and I'm just gonna Put it in there. Let me get my other spoon just to make this a little bit more easy. Alright, so we're gonna scoop and then push it in there. This is gonna be so good. This is my first time making this with um, with the shrimp on top. Not uh, paprika on the plate for decoration. Okay, girl, you be doing too much. Yeah, every time I go out to eat with my coworkers during lunch, when I finish the food, I be like, that was too good. Y'all watch that on TikTok? That joint's so funny. All right, let me show y'all what it looks like. Cause I'm gonna get ready to add the shrimp. Let's add the shrimp. Let's add the shrimp. This about to be too good. Too, uh, uh, what y'all doing? Too good. I tried to count my shrimp. So I wouldn't cook too many and have too much. But I did make enough so I could have some, like just a few to eat on its own. Mm, I'll eat this one. <laughs> All right, last step guys is the parsley. So, you know, price will make everything look pretty, child. All right, y'all, here's the finished product. Shay's deviled eggs. Shrimp deviled eggs. I'm about to bust these down. But anyways, know how long um I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be um but I am gonna close it now it's Sunday I'm just about to eat reset I'm so tired from the past two days so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys 
Love y'all. Bye.